So it's like them times that I was working with Nike a lot, so they was gifting me a lot of different stuff and I wanted to boss my man them. But maybe had I known the exclusivity of that trainer, I may have said, you know what, let me hold this one. But that's not really in my nature anyway, man. <laughs> To me, yeah, this, this reminds me of like the first name fight that I got that my uncle gave me. I remember, but it wasn't, it was all blue. It was literally like all this shade of blue the whole way through. You know what I'm saying? Maybe a few different materials, but it was, it was just all blue. But I just like this crap because it, it looks like it's current and futuristic. You know what I'm saying? I'm a style man. I don't really know too much on the history. I know that this comes from, actually I can tell you because I went to Oregon with Skeptar, me Skeptar, we went to the head, headquarters of Nike, yeah, and um, I remember that the guy telling us that the first, the first like running shoes were made, yeah, this, you see this on the bottom, um, this, wow, where does it come from, the guy, he was trying to make shoes that were the, the waffle iron, so he poured like, he poured, um, what did he pour, he poured, rubber, he poured rubber into the waffle iron and put it on the bottom of the shoes. So I was thinking, really, like, when I was learning them kind of facts, it just made me more interested in the trainer as well, because now I'm walking in history as well. It's not just a style thing, like, it means something. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 I bought these. Like, these weren't sent to me. When I saw these in the shop, I was like, yeah. I don't, I, I don't even think I was shopping that day. I just saw them. I was like, I'll be upset if I missed this drop and I'm gonna have to go online or something, or I can't find them again. Cause I've seen some crepes in my time and I think, ah, oh, and they just stopped making them. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted, I really wanted to make sure that I just grab these. Even if, if you look at them, yeah, they, they look quite fresh. You know what I'm saying? Maybe a few wipes and, you know what I mean? That's how I like to keep them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, well the amount you have to pay for these, they ought to last. The Roundel London, I, I, I did some work with Roundel London. I actually, they actually flew me out, probably about 015, 014. And um, this is before I got this trainer. And I, I went to Milan, their fashion week, and it was lovely working with them. So when this, when this shoe came about and Nike sent it to me, I didn't even realize it was Roundel. And then I, I see the, um, the logo in there, I said, yeah. But I really love these shoes just because these don't look like no other Nike shoes to me. Even even if you look at the bottom of them, like this ain't no waffle, this is something else. <laughs> like kind of alien looking thing. And I don't normally see trainers that have a print underneath a fabric. You know what I'm saying? It looks a bit like a 9.5, it looks a bit like a, um, can't really say a TN, but a bit, just something, this is like a spaceman shoe, even if you look at the kind of chrome on the side. So I like this trainer a lot, man. The, the first round though, trainer, what, the one that, um, with the Bakerloo line yeah. print on it, yeah, I gave them to one of my, my boys still. Well, do you know what it was? Like, why I gave them away is because he was a fellow musician of mine, innit? So it's like them times that I was working with Nike a lot, so they was gifting me a lot of different stuff and I wanted to boss my man them. But maybe had I known the exclusivity of that trainer, I may have said, you know what, let me hold this one. But that's not really in my nature anyway, man. I like to give. Yeah. What I like the most about these is that um, the sole, I believe, is glow in the dark. Yeah, it's glow in the dark. If I shine these on the lights and I step outside, it's mad. You know what I'm saying? So I like that. I really like things like that. Small, you know, small intricate details that you may not clock instantaneously. Now, I'm not a hype beast at all in, in any way. Like, I, don't, I don't really chase style. But when these were sent to my door, I had to say thank you. You know the ones there? I like them, like, they, these fly, man. They're fly still. They're, they're J's, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I like this, um, what's this Jordan called, this shape? Four. The Jordan 4. Now, I like 4s. You know, I, I, like, I like 4s. I just like how they look, you know? Well, it's like, you know, I think that one's just crazy. What, well, I don't like 4s, that's my least favourite model. Yeah. Jordan, but what struck me with that one, if I brought those back on the middle, like the amount of fabric detailing on the yeah. sole, that's fabric. It's crazy, isn't it? It's like, have you actually worn these? Yeah, I've worn these like three, probably three times, but I, I don't really like to bust them. I don't like to bust them because I want to, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll bust them when it's appropriate. Maybe like a, a, 
a, a massive festival show, not where I'm going to be walking around, but I'm talking in a sense that I'll bust it on the stage, take it off, jump in the forces. You know what I'm saying? Like, just for the stage, just for the pictures. Car, this is this is like um, I'm not really into materialism, but this is this is something that you have to value because it, it's it's a it's a future classic and it's a world crafted shoe. You know what I'm saying? Even even down to the I've never even noticed this until just now. It says Air Jordan, but just how it looks. Let me show it to the camera. It's it's just a lovely shoe. You know what I mean? And even what is this like leather? It's like I'm noticing more about it now. I think it's inside leather. Like you know, I just love it.